Yo, what's going on guys? Previous here, and this is part 6 of Roblox Scripting. And today, we're going to be learning about, well, doing, once you click this brick, uh, click a brick, then this model's going to get moved. Some other guy, Samuel Bird, I believe was his name, he requested a touch. Once you touch, a model gets moved. But this is not a request right here. I just got an idea from him saying like if you touch it it moves but I'm gonna do it clicked and then a model moves so I'm gonna speed build this thingy uh, the clickable button and I'll move on so I'll see ya Alright guys, I'm back. I made a button right here. I just made like a machine look at <clears throat> excuse me, a machine look at thing. So this is gonna be the button. Name button. Alright, so in this button, insert a script. Now okay, just exit out. Now let's make a model. So let's just uh, select all the model. You can make uh, the model however you want. This is going to be the model that's going to get moved once we click this green button. So, control G to group. Or you could just do all right click and group. But I'm just going to do this. And we could just keep the name model. Alright, so. In the script, we want to. Okay, let's make a variable. Part equals script dot. Then let's make a variable for the model. Model equals name dot workspace find no wait for child. Then in a string, because we want to get the name of the model. Okay, yeah, the name of the model, so it's called model. Alright, so part is script.parent, so script.parent. Hey guys, I forgot. Uh go to the button. And we need to insert a click detector into this button. All right, so part dot click. I type bad detect detect actor detect dot mouse click. Mouse click is an even mouse click. Then we're making a function right here, right here. Wow, function. I am typing terrible. So, script.parent dot click detector dot mouse click and can I, all right. So, once this part is clicked, then model, which is right here. Um, if you go, if you guys change the name like just to dog, then this would have to be changed to dog. Oops, I did not want to press enter. Yeah. Because that's the name of the model in workspace. 
but this is a variable. It can be whatever you want. But whatever this is, it's this. You put right here. So our model is not dog. We just kept that as model. So model dot that uh, you know, move to. I believe move to is an event. To check that, I may have to go to object browser. Move to member of model. Uh, how do I see if it's a? Let's see. Is this a event? I believe it's an event. Are these called events? This little purple thing. You have no idea. No, this is an event. My bad. Like these are all events right here. The one with the lightning strike. This is an object. This is a. Avoid, I guess I would say. I don't know. Whatever. So move to vector three dot new. So as you can see, vector three always needs these brackets right here. But inside the vec, we need brackets over vector three to move. It might be com very confusing f to you guys, but vector three is inside these brackets. We need that. It couldn't be like this. It could, and then put the position in there. I'm just. I hope you guys understand. It couldn't be like this because vector three needs a closing and uh, opening and closing in the position, and we also have to close and open it in vector three. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that's you could put whatever position you want. That's just gonna be mine, for example. So once we click, then this model we move to this position. Let's check out and see how this is gonna work. No, 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 no. Oh wait, wait, wait. No error. We actually might want to change the position of this just to make sure. So once we click the button, this is not moving. Oh, you know why, guys? Ma, I forget. It was the name of this model was Dog. Wow, I forgot to change it back to model. All right, let's see. There we are. There we is. There we are. There we is. So we did it. We did it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. That would be amazing, and I would, I would freaking love you if you did. Because you know I'm trying to gain subscribers. I'm pro I'll probably never be like PewDiePie and all that because at a young age, well I wouldn't say that. No, no, take I take that back. They they were like one of the first ones I believe. Like they were, they were like one of the first ones to start making videos, and they just got successful. I bet I would never be like them. But let's get my subscribers up because I would like more. Thank you, guys. Peace.